Well, hello everybody. Stuck in Wawa here. I decided to uh, show a video like the other 10,000 of them on YouTube of my setup. Basically, uh, what you're looking at now is a 48 volt system. And uh, I purchased the uh, the uh, big six batteries that you can get in Canada here. They're all 6 volt, 235 amp hours. And I got uh, these other four here and these other four here for free. So they're still good batteries, but uh, I decided to purchase these ones here. It cost me two grand. But I had to find a way to run two battery, well, three battery banks. So what I did is I, on my good battery bank, I'm running the kid. And as you can see, I'm at 98%. I'm bringing in 343 watts. Now, it's a nice sunny day. I should be bringing a lot more. Here's my problem. I've got my panels here in the back of my camp. And they're not set up right. They don't, they're too low. i got to get them up. I'm going to make changes there. I think I'm going to lay them on the ground. Build some, build a frame out here, and uh, have a way to tilt them in the summer and in the winter. Because in the winter, the you literally have to stand them straight up to keep the snow off and to keep the uh, power coming in. So, anyways, everybody knows all that stuff. Okay, so what I did is I, I tied these in, uh, and I got to 48, and I run the power to a DC breaker or switch. And from here, I got it running into a battery selector. And right in this bank here is called bank two. When I switch to bank one, I have it also running through another one. So I could, if I want, I can just run bank one or I can run just bank two. I just have to make this selection here. If I switch over to bank one, I'll run off this. And then I'll come over here and I'll just switch this to bank one. And now I can run that. If I want, I can run... If I switch this to all, I can run both of these battery banks. And then let this one here charge. So what I'm doing is I'm going to run two separate uh, solar banks. I got six batteries, or sorry, six panels that are going to charge this. And I got four panels that's going to charge. Well, that's another thing I did. I have it here right now on another one of these. So right now, if I click the one, the this is bank one. And I got 52 volts coming out of that. If I switch to bank two, which is them batteries. I'm getting right now 50 watts. So the, this battery controller will only will will charge. Right now it's on bank two. So this controller, when I have my solar panels hooked up to it, will charge this bank. And then if I switch to one, right, my solar charge, my charge controller will charge this bank. And I wanted to keep them separate. Now, because they're different, right? They, this is a small bat. These are only 75 amp hours, and I believe these ones are 225. So I want to keep that separate. I had to do this in order to run the three banks. It's the only way I could figure out how to do it. And, it, you know, in theory, it should work fine. So anyways, I got DC connects. for This is for bank two. This one's for bank one. So basically, uh, if I want to run this bank right here, I'll switch to one. I'll take this off and put it to one. And then over here, I'll switch this to one. Make sense? Yeah, I guess so. To me, it does. Okay, as you see, I'm running the Ames 48 volt inverter charger. I like this charger because I didn't have any real way to charge my 48 volt inverter. You can buy 
or sorry, my 48 volt bank of batteries. You could buy a charger, but they're not cheap. And this thing here has it built in. And uh, I really like it. And you can't go wrong with the kid. And uh, I haven't used this yet, but a lot of people on the internet say that this makes Sky Blue there kicks ass. So, and it's much cheaper. So there it is. How you run three battery banks. Have a nice day, everybody.